Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, it is undeniable that we are continuing to see the tribulation period casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now. And if we know the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ happens before the Antichrist is revealed and before the tribulation period begins. How close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than many people realize. One of the shadows of the tribulation that we continue to see being cast on the earth is the coming beast system spoken of uh, specifically in the book of Revelation chapter 13, but more specifically, the coming mark of the beast. During the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, we see what's recorded in the book of Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 to 18. This is what we read. And he, this is referring to the uh, future false prophet, who's going to basically be the right-hand man of the Antichrist. Let's continue. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six, or simply put, six, six, six. So very clearly, there is a time coming during the coming tribulation period where there is going to be a system in place that's going to be able to track and monitor everyone, no matter where you are, uh, in the world, it's going to be able to control all buying and selling. And you're going to have to obey this system. When the Antichrist does come forth after the rapture of the church, during the coming tribulation, again, the false prophet who's going to be the right-hand man of the Antichrist, we just read it in Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 to 18. The false prophet is going to cause all. It doesn't matter who you are, rich and poor, free and bond, uh, great and small. It doesn't matter. Everyone is going to have to obey the system. And eventually, if you want to be able to survive in this beast system, you're going to have to receive the mark of the beast, something they're going to try to put in your right hand or in your forehead. And we're told very clearly that you're not going to be able to buy or sell unless you receive the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. The Bible makes it very clear. If you find yourself here during the coming tribulation period, you're going to have to reject this mark of the beast that they try to put in your right hand or in your forehead. Because if you accept it, you're going to have a choice. Accept this mark of the beast or reject it. You're going to have to accept Jesus Christ and reject the mark of the beast. And for doing this, again, you will most likely be killed for your faith during this coming tribulation period. Scripture makes it very clear. If you take the mark of the beast, you are pledging allegiance to the Antichrist. You are pledging allegiance to this beast system, and you will be doomed to hell for eternity. Now, the technology was not, was not there in previous generations for this type of system to be in place, but it's here right now. And when the time comes, they will be able to implement it. And if you are still doubting that the technology is not there and the stage is not set up, getting set up for this future system that will come about, I want you to check out this story that just came in. Thank you to all of you that had sent me this. Folks, there's many stories like this all over the world, but I wanted to go over this one, and I'll explain why. This is just in from Fortune. J.P. Morgan will let consumers pay with their face or palm instead of a card. Let me read some of this to you. Pay attention here. J.P. Morgan Chase and Company is planning to test new technology that would let consumers pay with their palms or faces at certain U.S. merchants. The bank, home to one of the world's biggest payment processing businesses, plans to roll out the service to its broader base of United States merchant clients if the pilot program goes well, according to a statement uh, this previous, uh, past Thursday. The pilot may include a Formula One race in Miami, as well as some brick and mortar stores. The evolution of consumer technology has created new expectations for shoppers. Gene Mark Thienpont, head of Omnichannel Solutions for J.P. Morgan's payments businesses, said in the statement, Merchants need to be ready to adapt to these new expectations. 
Here's how it works. Consume, uh, cu customers enroll their palm or face through an in-store process. Then at checkout, they scan their biometric to complete the transaction and get a receipt. You know why this got my attention, folks? Because they mentioned uh, scanning, you know, doing the palm scan, but also the face scan. Why does that get my attention? Well, we know the palm is part of the hand, right? And we know the face, uh, well, that, that's your face, that's your head. And in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 to 18, the eventual mark of the beast, which will not come about until after the rapture and during the coming tribulation period, uh, again, they're going to try to put it in your right hand or in your forehead. And here we have, uh, they're doing these pilot runs of all these payment services now where you're going to be able to use your palm or scan your head, and then you're going to be able to get a receipt for your transaction. Uh, and why this also gets my attention is we know that they've been doing all these CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency Pilot Programs, over the last few months. And now we start, we're starting to see... Uh, the small banks, the crisis going on with the small banks, which is going to eventually get the large banks to introduce these CBDC, central bank digital currencies, as the main form of currency all over the world. Well, now they're doing pilot programs for all these palm service payment options and then the uh, scanning the forehead to make your payment. Uh, they're doing all these pilot programs. We see they're going to do one. They're planning on doing one with the Formula One race in Miami and uh, release it in different parts of the United States. And make no mistake about it. This is going on all over the world. They're doing all these pilot programs because when the time comes during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, they're going to be able to roll out this B system, folks. This shadow is so clear in front of us right now, the tribulation shadow that's being cast in front of us, which means the rapture is even closer. And all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now with everything occurring and look at what your Bible says you will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking. And it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the light boat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here right now as you're watching this video now is the accepted time now is a day of salvation now what do you have to do to be saved well the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of first corinthians chapter 15 verse 1 to 4. believe you're believing jesus christ died on the cross for your sins the sin that that you could never pay on your own jesus christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down, he would be born of a virgin, he became flesh, he dwelt among us, and he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. But the bottom line is this, heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment, it's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming and he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me and God bless you all.